Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the fourth trimester. I know, when you do the research or just from the lack thereof and you understand pregnancy, you think, no, there's only three trimesters, first, second, and the end when the baby's coming out. I didn't realize is that there was a fourth trimester. I read some books before my baby was born, talked to a couple friends before my baby was born, and realized that there is indeed a fourth trimester. You got your baby. We had our baby girl five and a half months ago, and I think it's about time that I sat down and made myself realize what has happened the last couple months, the first, the first three months of her life, so that when it comes time for future kids, I am prepared for myself and if any of you are in the midst of having a baby, in the midst, are about to have a baby, or have just had a baby, like one of my childhood girlfriends who just had her baby girl. I know there's so many girls that are being born around me. It's quite amazing. This world of girls is going to take over everything. I cannot wait. Anyways, this is a little bit for her, even though I've already shared my tips with her, but anything else that she may be able to grab from this video, as well as yourself, may be able to grab from this video, then by all means, you're hearing it at your leisure pause, repeat, look down in the descriptions of what other tips I could provide to you. And of course, as everything in life, it's your baby. You do what you need to do for your baby because your baby is different than mine. Take everything with a grain of salt and apply the tips that could work for you. And you may need to even tweak it a little bit. Like I may be saying things that do not work like step by step for in your lifestyle, but if one, two work and three and four, you need to then adjust by all means do it. We are moms, we are first time moms, we are second time moms, we are moms who have come into this world to produce a baby because the blessing's been out there and the child's been born and now you're just trying to survive and keep this baby alive as well as make sure that your sanity is intact. Fourth trimester, my baby was born, given to me in my arms and then we came home and home time is where how Am I able to have this baby in my house? No medical help, no medical degree, no medical background in any sense, and the hospital allows you to leave with the baby home. Yet for a driver's license, you need to take X amount of, of a test, even schooling for it, and then you have to go through three rigorous tests in order to get your, your full license, and then you're able to hit the road with no questions asked. Or how about just a simple like a, a degree? You need to go through so much researching, so much schooling, so much studying, so much late nights, etc and then you get your degree but yet being a mom there is no schooling there is no books that tell you you how to be a mom to this first child and then you how to be a mom to your second child even though they got the same parents every single child may be different may is the key word here i am at home thinking what am i going to do how can i do this and luckily I have my husband who is very supportive. First thing is the baby had a soiled diaper. So him and I would take care of that. We would equally change the diaper or the next thing you want to give it to him and then vice versa. You know, you do what you need to do for your family. So soiled diapers, you know, just have a stack load of diapers. Make sure you got that, okay? Number two, formula or breastfeeding. Whatever it is that you do, 100%, 1000% harder than I had ever read, anticipated in my whole entire life was breastfeeding. And we managed to do what worked for us. That's a whole nother video. I think I've said that before, like breastfeeding itself could be a whole nother video. It could be a 30 minute video, it could be a two hour video, but still breastfeeding is a bonding experience with your child. I cannot teach you how to breastfeed. I can absolutely tell you tips of what I use. Um, lactation consultants, for example, if you have one in your area, do it. They are so informed of how breasts and the, and the tissue and the glands and how to avoid mastitis, for example. And they absolutely help me out. I had one come to our house, we paid the money, and she was able to teach how to, how to position the baby, how to, how to hold your breast, how to make sure you're squeezing the breast, how to make sure you're massaging and then pumping as well as helping us with pumping so that my husband could also help out with feeding, pump the milk out, and my husband's able to bond with the baby that way as well. It's a great resource to use if you have a lactation consultant in your area. Drop-ins, there's lots of drop-ins. Like, I haven't even left the idea of breastfeeding and there's so much information. I went to many drop-ins. I went to the hospital drop-ins as well. And these are all free clinics. The one that I paid for was a local store here that they get $40 your first visit and then 20 the following 
visits and then there comes a time when you need someone to come to the house like i said bring someone to the house because you're by no means able to leave the house because you're recovery and have them come to you fourth trimester the baby is gonna want to sleep a lot newborn sleep lots 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 i had my mother-in-law come and we did a little shopping sprees and my baby just loves movement she needs to be up and about and jumping around and wandering things like now she's crawling and little girl's ready to run and i should have thought about that when she was younger it's like oh yeah she needs movement constant movement she cries if there's no constant movement she cries if you're not holding her and like moving her around and stuff sleeping when the baby snaps they always say nap when the baby naps yes i could do that but i want to clean my house i want to be able to put some makeup on i want to be able to simply just relax and maybe be on my phone and look at mommy forums which is my next point if you want to nap then nap if you can nap because you're staying up all night feeding the baby two to three hours it may be that you're sleep deprived so nap when when your baby is napping do it absolutely take advantage of it so try that out for you if it works if it doesn't don't stress too much that you have to nap just do it if you want to nap and can of course because at one point if there is a time when my baby was falling asleep and I just look at her and then 20 minutes go by and about an hour and a half goes by and then I say okay maybe I'll take a nap and by the time I'm actually falling asleep my baby's waking up again so <laughs> it happens not the first one to tell you that that you stare at your baby all day long you just created a miracle that came out of you and you just want to look at them and like decipher does she or he look like me or does she look like daddy and it could be a mixture of both as they grow older hopefully your baby looks more like you because you know mamas want that you do what you need to do in regards to sleeping forums facebook forums so i did suggest that in my labor story to join forums to help you out before giving birth local moms have insights of what hospital might be better what birthing center might be better might be best to fit your lifestyle not so much better i should take that back depending on what doctors and ob's are associated with what hospital that's the hospital or center that you could choose to have your baby at. these moms have helped me even now through the fourth trimester and obviously now that my baby's about to be half a year old i take everything i read what i can read i read the non-triggers some of the groups administration have asked for people when they post to put trigger warnings if the following post will be a trigger warning so i tend to skip those as i was very vulnerable i do recall in my fourth trimester i was very sensitive i had just given birth to a baby i was recovering and that wasn't the best thing for me to be reading anything to do with baby naps uh, baby colic non-colic reflux patches like you know just anything that you think that your baby could be having search it some mom might have already asked for it that's what i do first and if not then i post my own conversation and then moms always tend to comment it's the best resource to have your mom tribe gosh things are evolved now that you have become a mom or a second time mom whatever the case may be even the age difference between the first and a second baby could vary because the research has evolved it has modernized things are always being discovered science is awesome i never knew how much i would love science has been able to allow mothers and fathers to become mothers and fathers it's it's a real good blessing to have science in this world if moms can help you out besides them, of course always talk to your doctor always talk to your pediatrician in regards to your baby do take what moms say with a grain of salt apply it if it seems reasonable for your lifestyle by but i am by no means endorsing that you should choose what they say to the t don't do that obviously read about it obviously contemplate it with your spouse or partner about it because it's your baby and then if you're still unsure by all means the doctor is the way i go i always do the same i take notes and then my next doctor's visits i ask him all my questions my daughter is pediatrician he tells as it is he's like don't worry so much he's like this is what this is called this is what that's called you know the birthmarks my daughter has birthmarks and of course i was alarmed at first nope birthmarks and it's totally fine so that's all baby like what you should do for the baby to help you get to know your baby bond with the baby like you're recovering stay in bed and if you have a c-section you obviously can't be going up and down stairs so much you can't even be lifting your own baby and obviously depending on how the what weight the baby is some are born lighter than others 
your spouse is going to be helping you a lot just relax try to bond with your baby try breastfeeding if not formula feed you know whatever it is that you need to do because fed baby is a happy baby fed is always best also swaddling i must include that the swaddling a baby because they're so used to being a cocoon in your in your uterus inside of you that when they come out it's like oh so much light oh noise that's why they're crying and that's why they swaddle babies in the hospital but so that it gets them still custom what they're used to in your, in your uterus and that's being swaddled so swaddling and i i actually swaddle my baby until she started rolling because once they start rolling uh-uh ain't safe anymore to swaddle them. I recommend to swaddle every single night until they start to roll. Then it, it's deemed unsafe. And of course, if, you're, if your doctor tells you to, to stop at some point, then stop, please listen to your doctor. It always reverts back. Listen to your doctor, ask your doctor questions. They are the be all end all for right now. Even if the doctor says something that you do not agree with, you are the ultimatum in your household. You do what you need to do for your household and what works for your lifestyle. So that's a lot of tips for the baby. And now during the fourth trimester, you also need to focus on yourself so that you're able to care for your baby during the fourth trimester. You think, oh, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna recover exactly as the doctor said six weeks from now, but what some people don't realize is that the, the doctors can give you a lot of good tips and a lot of tools to help you recover. It's also recommended that you do your own research and do what may work a little better for your instances so that you can recover at a steadily pace. So I did a lot of SIDS baths. Now, I know some hospitals give the actual SIDS bath container. They get you to sit in it, whether it be I guess over the toilet or preferably in your bathtub. I didn't get any of that. So all I did was I made a bath with the water level being right up to my bum cheeks, sprinkled lots of Epsom salts because it has magnesium and it helps with the swelling, lots of drops of lavender essential oil because it helps with soothing and you know, taking care of your lady parts since I delivered vaginally, it was important for me to take care of my perennial area. And I sat in there for quite a few minutes. Baby needed to feed, I asked my husband to bring the baby so I could nurse her inside the bathtub or I just did it in between naps, made sure to do that so that it helped with the swelling to come down as well as I made DIY padsicles I have a link for it down below they help cool the area as I'm out and about it was great I believe that did help a lot in my recovery and the swelling to come down because if I'm recovering well and full functioning then I'm able to care for my baby you gotta think about yourself first before the baby yes I'm the first one to say that I don't do that on a daily basis I still don't do it <laughs> even after this video is gonna go up I still don't do it but I'm learning that if I need to feed myself first because I'm starving or we can eat at the same time for example or one of us can eat while the other one's feeding the baby and then we eat fast and then we switch but it tends to be myself taking care of baby all day long well husband has to work and provide for us and i am eating with one hand while i'm holding her you know if you don't have the support at home where someone can come and physically hold your baby while you eat and feed your baby while you're eating then you do what you need to do whether it be one hand bottle feeding her or breastfeeding her and you're eating with the other do what you need to do so that you're both content a happy baby comes from the happiness of the mother as well they spend so much time next to you and next to your husband and partner that a happy baby eludes from the partnership like from mom and dad it's like oh mom and dad are happy of course i gotta be happy right and if mom and dad are sad or mom and dad are screaming and stuff well then i don't i don't know that baby may take that and may not be so happy i don't know my case is that we do strive to be extra considerate of each other sometimes we gotta tell it as it is but we do spend the time to always put our baby close there and make sure that she's content because she's such a happy baby I mean, everybody says it I think it does come from taking care of yourself at the same time taking care of your baby but keeping in the back of your head that you got to function first you as a mom have to function so that you can drive your baby to the doctor's appointments for example drive to these mommy meetups trying to get to know these moms in my area at the two-week mark i went out to a starbucks mom date it was nerve-wracking because it was more like hey awkward moms let's get together because we don't know anybody we're all in the same boat but i didn't bring my baby i left her with daddy daddy was off for the first two weeks helping me out and i was able to meet moms that way and then from there we have been meeting up at my local retail mall 
mall, a local outdoor mall, just to get out of the house, more lunch dates, uh, more coffee Starbucks dates. The fourth semester is about, you know, everything is bumbled, it's like jumbled up in your head and you don't know what you're doing, you're doing it day by day, and you're learning your baby as you go. But taking care of yourself first also includes having that mom tribe that is not your husband, that may, may or may not be your mom, and your close relatives. It may need to be a stranger, and as nerve-wracking as it is to meet new people, another mom should understand what you're going through. Another mom should get that if you cancel last-minute plans, it's as simple as that. You cancel last-minute plans. And in your house, it's because baby pooped. There was... Uh, throw up on the bed. Uh, now you gotta do laundry all day. Uh, she was having a tantrum all night. Don't go back to sleep. So you've been up all night. Now you just need to rest at home. You don't want to put on makeup. You don't want to drive anywhere. You don't even have the energy to get out of your PJs. Moms will know and understand you. And those moms that don't, you really don't need them in your life because it's the fourth trimester. You do not need added stress to your life. Bing on. And then all of a sudden months go by and your baby's out of the fourth trimester. The last point is I want to talk about sleep training because obviously there are certified doulas who can help with sleep training your baby because you can't be up all night and function the next day for the next six months it is hard i'm pretty sure those moms that are still doing it kudos to you and it is stressful it is draining and it is hard our baby started sleeping at night at 10 or 11 weeks i actually had a friend that came over and I was trying to remember the exact date. My relatives who don't even live in the same city as me have helped me a whole bunch. My cousin has been a great resource and she's the type that I may ask a question and then she'll respond. She's not really an imposing type of person. She won't say, oh, you gotta do it this way and it's the right way. None of that because she knows how mom dreaming can evolve. So to be a first time mom, everything's jumbled, everything's asking questions, everything is new. If I ask the question that she responds, I tend to see that she does that a lot and I truly appreciate it. And then when I really need some more, then I bug, I bug her with follow-up questions and then she's like, okay, let me call you, let's see what's going on. This whole mom business, it's not easy. It's the hardest job anyone can do. And females, power is all to you because you are what make, makes a mom a mom. You know, your baby makes you a mom, of course. You being pregnant is being a mom. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise because the minute that that seed is implanted into your uterus, you're a mom. And you know, some days this right at top of here is what's gonna get you through life. The mom top button, yeah. I've been wearing this as long as I can remember because it's the best way to have my hair out of my face. My baby just likes to grab hair. They're grabbing, so this top mom bun is going to be your best friend. Continue to eat your vitamins. You need your, you still need to do your prenatal vitamins. Eat them while you're breastfeeding. It's great. First three months, which is the fourth trimester, is great that you still have your vitamins because your body's recovering and the biotin as well and B12 should just help with the immune system. Whatever vitamins that can suit you during this time, please take them. Whatever can help you during this fourth trimester. I'm here ask me questions, I'd love to respond. Uh, but like I've said, please take everything anyone says and apply it to your lifestyle with tweaks if need be. And do not feel ashamed or do not feel worried and stressed if you need to change it up because I mean, come on, your baby's different than mine. Your baby is going to make their own mark in this world as mine is going to make her own mark in this world. If we choose to have more babies, and they individually will have their own individual mark in this world. It's the beauty about this world. This world needs more happy and grounded-minded people, and we need to shape up this world. And uh, here I am going to a tangent. It's supposed to be the fourth trimester, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at the fourth trimester. These are my tips and tricks, and hopefully something could help you out. Don't forget to grab a, a good book to read in between naps if that is the case, or nap yourself, like I said. Take care of yourself when you can, and I'm gonna leave it at that, it's when you can. Because of course, baby comes first in our eyes, like they're newborn, they're gorgeous, they're precious, and you just wanna cuddle them all day, then do it. Okay, so that's the end of it. <laughs> Four trimester. I hope you all have a good day. Enjoy this. First time Mommy Mondays, I guess I'm gonna call it.